जय हिंद मैं सेल्फ गौरव श्रीवास्तव असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिपार्टमेंट इन अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज एफ्लेटेड टू डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम टेक्निकल यूनिवर्सिटी सो टुडे वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू रेवल एनर्जी सोर्सेज पार्ट सेकेंड बेसिकली इन द फर्स्ट सेशन वी हैव इंक्लूडेड अबाउट द डिफरेंट सोर्सेज लाइक सोलर विंड एंड द ओशियन थर्मल बट नाउ वी हैव मोफ टाइडल so right now remaining sources we have lot of uh, remaining like msd geothermal fuel cell biogases so these uh, renewable resources are pending so in this today's lecture we have discussed about their uh, introduction part their application as well as, as, well as their uh, merits and the disadvantages or you can say demerits so this uh, topics is related to the renewable energy sources subject subject code that is a koe074 so like here today we have discussed about different msg system then fuel cell biomass ocean thermal energy and geothermal five and the in the previous lecture we have covered the three like aapka first is that is the wind solar and tidal so three covered in the last lecture and this five energy resources in terms of the renewable we have covered in the today's lecture so like what is the msd msd known as the magneto hydrodynamics power generation so it is a very easily or you can say a direct energy conversion system which converts the heat energy directly into the electrical energy without any intermediate mechanical energy conversion as opposed to the case in all other power generation plant like in a solar conventional uh, conventional energy resources like coal or the thermal power plant in what will happen we will burn the coal and uh, find out the their heat energy and this heat energy converts in a mechanical energy through the turbines and then then this mechanical energy converted again in a electrical energy through the alternator so there is a lot of process you can say the energy is require generation process is required but in the case of the msd we can see here that is the direct energy conversion process like we have the magnetic source source of hot electricity conduction gases passes through it and the motion of this what will happen there is the electrons generated and this is electron is the main source of the electrical external electrical current and the power generation merits definitely when we have discuss about uh, sources and uh, their power generation so there is uh, some limitations and their advantages why we are using this what is the difference between this sources or the other non conventional renewable sources or compared to the convention sources mostly we have discussed about merits and demerits in respect to coal thermal power plant because we have seen that in our country as well as the in all over the world we have using the electrical energy production through the coal mostly in india approximate uh, 53% electricity production only generation through the coal so that's why we have discuss or the compared with the coal thermal power plant so like this more reliable since there are no moving part definitely in the conventional coal thermal plant there is a variety of equipment and the system are used for the power generation but in the case of so there is a moving lot of mechanical machines and their mechanical parts so there is a different type of losses generation and that's why their efficiency is approximate 30 to 40% but in the case of there is a msd generation there is a no mechanical or the moving part so their efficiency their losses will be reduced their operational cost will be reduced their running cost will be reduced and definitely there is a no fuel we have using so definitely overall operating cost is very less in msd system the efficiency can be about 50% we can achieve it like a normal coal power plant that is a 35 to 40% but in the case of the msd we can find out the efficiency approximate 50% like here 
compared to less than 40 percent for most efficient steam plants. So, here we can discuss compared to the steam or the coal thermal power plant. As soon as it is started, it can reach the full power level. Definitely, in case of the th thermal power plant, they will be reached to the, their full power having a some time limitation. But in the case of the MHD, they soon as soon as it started, they can reach their full power level. Power producers with no pollution, definitely in the all the case of the renewable energy sources, the except wind, we have a no pollution. No, noise, because in the case of the wind, what will happen? We have the noise pollution. But in the case of other res renewable resources, we have clearly says the no pollution because no gases can be generated for the generation of electricity. Overall, operating cost is very minimum. The capital cost of MSD plant is low compared to those of the conventional steam plant. So, basically, they compared with the same capacity. Like, if you go on for the 50 megawatt generation or through the coal or as well as the MHD, what will happen? The capital cost of the MHD plant of 50 megawatt is less than as compared to the coal or you can say the thermal power plant. So, that is why here always we have mentioned about compared to the conventional steam plant. Demerits, when we discuss about merits or the advantages of any energy resources. So, there is a some restriction is available like demerits. What will happen in the case of MHD system? It suffer from the reverse flow. There is a might be short circuit chances of the electrons through the conduction fluids around at the end of the magnetic field and there will be high friction losses and heat transfer losses also. So, friction losses may be as high as compared to the 12 percent of the input. If 12 percent is losses, so definitely their efficiency will be reduced. So, that is why their efficiency we can reach about only 50 percent due to the frictional losses and the heat transfer losses. So, next energy sources. So, we have discussed about first. wind, then solar, then tidal, then fourth is the MHD and fifth is the fuel cell. So, what will happen in our MHD? We can directly convert the electricity production without any uh, conversion of energy in a mechanical terms. And in the same case, if we are using the fuel cell, what will happen? We can directly convert the chemical energy into a electrical energy. So, like fuel cell in electrochemical cell that converts that chemical energy of the fuel and using the oxidizing agent into a electricity through a pair of redox reaction. So, fuel cells are different from the most batteries in required constantly source of the fuel and oxygen usually from the air to get the chemical reaction. So, whereas in a battery the chemical reaction energy usually uh, energy comes from the metals and their ions or oxidized that are already present in the batteries. So, except in the flow batteries. So, fuel cell can produce electricity continuously for as long as for fuels and oxygens are the supply. So, like here we can see in this cell. So, that is the anode side, that is the cathode side and here we can using the electrolyte. So, electrolyte they can be used or the accelerate the chemical reactions in the cell. So, here what will happen? We can introduce the hydrogen science. So, that will generate the 2H plus 2 electrons and these hydrogen ions and the electrons combined together with the oxygen what will generate it with the half o2 h2 clear so here water comes out so that is the equation can be used in any fuel cell so depends on whatever the anode side or the cathode side we are using, whatever the electrolyte 
we can using so on that basis we can see the fuel cell working so these electrons move through the electrons electricity production and here heat can be generated again this heat can be generated and the these water molecules can be out outcome so mostly in a spacecraft or where we can in uh, in the space car definitely we are using the the fuel cell as the energy generation what will happen here so here we can utilize for the ele power electricity as well as water so both are produced through the fuel cell so they are mostly used in a space okay so right now we have more discuss their classification in the in our fuel cell special lectures but here we can discuss about different type of sources their applications their merits and demerits so we have a limited content for this topic right now so we have moved to next topic related to the fuel cell that is their merits or you can say the advantages so in the merits we can say it classify it as a very high efficiency at the 70% as compared to the uh, conventional sources where efficiency is approximate 30 to 40% but in the case of solar uh, fuel cell we can find the efficiency about 70% because since it is a direct conversion process and does not involve any thermal process so that's why their efficiency is uh, high as compared to conventional sources fuel cells having the less mechanical component so definitely there is a uh, hence maintenance less maintenance cost is lost less fuel cell take a very little time to start operational as compared to the conventional a space required for the fuel cell power plant is very less as compared to the convention so definitely in terms of space requirement uh, operational time their uh, maintenance lost uh, cost or the operational cost installation cost fuel uh, no, uh, pollutions or you can the anything can be compared with the conventional power plant similarly we can say the large amount of cooling water is not required like in a conventional steam power plant definitely we have a coal uh, coal uh, water plant in a conventional plant through dig uh, deionize the ga gases or the uh, uh, steam which are generated because again this steam can be converted into water and this water again circulated in a heat production fuel cell can be installed near the use point definitely where we can see the conversion sources we can definitely the system can uh, set up can be power plant can be installed at the far location where we can requirement as as per the our requirement but in the case of the fuel cell we can directly installed at their site location as well so in that terms we can say that transmission cost is very low they do not make noise hence can be used in a residential purpose also like a uh, wind turbines that is again renewable sources but they have a they generated a noise because due to the rotation of the windmills so these uh, energy sources cannot be utilized in a residential areas but in the case of fuel cell this facility can be utilized now we move their demerits or the disadvantages or limitations so their demerits or the limitations of very low service life high initial cost investment the use of fuel cell power is still unsafe due to explosive nature of the hydrogen and oxygen so definitely we see that the sometimes batteries are exploited batteries exploiting explosion can be happen in a batteries so there is a chances of the these are very unsafe availability of suitable auto catalyst to function efficiently in a long duration also restricted to the commercial application as well because of the low capacity they have utilized in a commercial residential purpose only not a commercial application the refilling of auto vehicle is quite difficult through this so now fifth one that is a sixth one that is a biomass so today we have discussed about mhd 
fuel cell and now biomass. So, that is the fourth step 6 and in the first wind, solar and tidal. So, what is the biomass? How the biomass can be produced? So, basically wastage, what is the wastage generation? Wastage through the plant and trees, wood process, our humans resources generate. So, these can be recycled through the wastage of and these wastage can be again regenerated as a biomass production. So, biomass is an organic material made from plants and animals. It is a renewable energy source because we can always grow more trees and crops and waste will always exist definitely. In long term, we can say the trees and crops grow, but wastes always exist. Hum log hamesha hi wastes ko develop karte rahenge, produce. So, wastes ko utilize kiya jata hai through the energy production. So, it does not include fossil fuels which takes millions of years to creation. What will happen in the case of coal, gas, oils? So, it takes a millions years to produ produce. Millions to produce, but of the wastage, but in the case of biomass, what will happen? We can directly burn the wastage and produce the electricity, so which is called a biomass. So, when it is burned, the chemical energy in biomass is released as a heat and this heat can be utilized as an energy conversion. So, wood waste or garbage can be burned to produce steam for making electricity or to provide heat to industries and the homes. So, burning biomass is not the only way to release its energy. It can be converted to either usable forms like methanol gases or fuels such as ethanol and the biodiesel. So, various components can be generated through the biomass, not only the energy. We can using to generate a methanol, fuels like ethanol and the biodiesel can be generated through the biomass wastage. So, biomass is a plant device for converting of fermental organic matter in particular cattle dung into combustion gas and fully matured organic manure. So, that is the particular definition which are using for the biomass. The main sources for production of biogas are the cattle dung, night sole, poultry or piggery dropping. So, these materials are confined in a place cut off the contact with the oxygen, give rise to a large number of bacteria which converted carbon hydroxide proteins fat into volatile acid and carbon dioxide. So, while biomass is organic matter derived from the plants, algae and the animal assets. Okay, clear? Well, how it is a biomass or the bio plants, biomass plant working? So, now broadly classification of different types of bio, biomass plant or the energy plant, we have discussed in a separate chapter today, but we have discussed about their merits and the demerits or the limitations. So, what is the merits of the biomass energy? It has a very high cost of obtaining bioenergy through the plantation, is lesser than cost of the obtaining energy from the fossil fuels. Plant ensures a continuous supply of the energy due to their continuous growth. So, combination of bio biomasses does not cause SO2 air pollution since the content of sulphur in vegetables even is uh, less than 0.1 percent. So, growth of biomass consumes more than the carbon dioxide. What will happen? This is a release during combustion besides. Production, the atmospheric oxygen as the produce of the polystyrene process. Biomass, uh, biomass is a perennial and polytric type of energy. All its by produce are capable of being recycled. Their demerits, accumulations of water in the pipeline and need to remove it at periodic intervals, insufficient design of gas appliances. 
सीजनल वेरिएशन इन गैस प्रोडक्शन ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ टेम्परेचर कंट्रोल एंड द पुअर इंसुलेशन ऑफ प्लांट ऑन एब्सोल्यूट बेसिस द कॉस्ट ऑफ बायोमास एनर्जी इज फाउंड टू बी जनरली देन अ कोल बेस्ड प्लांट सो डेट इज द डिमेरिट्स और यू कैन से द लिमिटेशन सीजनल वेरिएशन इन गैस प्रोडक्शन ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ टेम्परेचर कंट्रोल सो लाइक नो नेक्स्ट इज ओशन थर्मल एनर्जी कन्वर्जन ओटीएसी सो लाइक फर्स्ट वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट इन प्रीवियसली वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज द डिफरेंट सोर्सेस एनर्जी रिन्यूएबल दैट इज द विंड सोलर टाइडल देन एम एच डी फ्यूल बायो मास थर्ड ओ टी सी अगेन आपका जियो थर्मल बाकी है सो ओ टी सी so ocean thermal energy conversion is a process of technologies for producing energy by hardness the temperature difference between ocean surface waters and the deep ocean surface waters so like here we can see that is the surface of the ocean so here the deep top surface warm water definitely intake and after the Gon depth of the water. What will happen? That is the what cold water intake, and there is a temperature is five degree centigrade about, and there is a top surface twenty five degree centigrade. So what will happen? There is a temperature differentiation. Mix water approximate sixteen degree. So here we can using this thermis thermo radiation. Okay. So energy from the sun heats the surface water of the ocean definitely. वॉट विल हैपन द सन आपकी हीट आ रही है सोलर एनर्जी के थ्रू आपका वॉटर हीट हो रहा है बट इन द डेप्थ ऑफ द वॉटर वॉट विल हैपन दर इज अ कोल्ड लेयर ऑफ द वॉटर सो दैट इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टॉप सर्फेस एंड द डेप्थ ऑफ द सर्फेस एंड दिस टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस कैन बी यूज टू प्रोड्यूस द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड डिजल इन द ओशन वॉटर in tropical region surface water can be much warmer than the deep water and this temperature difference can be used to produce electricity and to generate desalinate the so ocean thermal energy conversion system use the temperature difference for net to a power turbine to produce the electricity thermal gradient through the clear so here top surface mid surface bottom surface of the water in the sea so there is a top surface having the temperature 25 and depth temperature is a 5 degree so over 20 degree centigrade you can the difference of the temperature so these 20 degree can be generated for the through the uh, thermal gradient we can using the power offshore unit otc head mega power इन अपावर बाई द सी वाटर ऑन शोर ओटी सी ऑपरेशनल प्लांट यहां पर आपका लगा हुआ है फॉर द यूटिलाइजेशन हंड्रेड किलो वॉट ऑफ द पावर बाई द दिस सो वॉर्म सर्फेस वॉटर इज पंप थ्रू एन इनवेपरेटर कंटेनिंग अ वर्किंग फ्लूड द वेपराइज फ्लूड डराइव द टर्बाइन जनरेटर जो भी आपका हीट वाटर हो रहा है उसके थ्रू आप टर्बाइन को मूव करा रहे हो और मैकेनिकल एनर्जी जनरेट कर रहे हो एंड देन दिस मैकेनिकल एनर्जी कन्वर्टेड थ्रू अल्टरनेटर into a electrical energy so the vaporized fluid is turned back into a liquid in a condenser cooled 
with cold ocean water pumped from deeper in the ocean an otc system using sea water as a working fluid can use the condensed water to produce desalination water so here we discuss about ki how to otc plant can be working so now we have shifted to learn about their merits or the advantages it has a very high cost of obtaining bioenergy through plantations lesser than cost of the energy from the fossil fuel definitely as compared to otc aap karoge to biomass ke comparison mein aapki cost high hai but at the same capacity of the power generation it is less in the case of conventional energy resources so that is a fossil fuel likha hua mention because of the coal uh, you can say the conventional thermal plant the otc process exploits the temperature difference between the warm surface and the cold cold bottom water to produce electricity in india the condition of operation of otc plant are favorable because of the temperature difference that remains constant throughout the year so definitely that is our ad, uh, advantages in terms of otc in expensive transmission of electricity is possible provided the otc plant is less than 30 km from the sea shore so as compared to the conventional resources we have established a power plant very far distance from the near site where the coal is available or the fuel is available but in the case of otc or the any other uh, uh, renewable energy resources we can use uh, this facilities to near the site to um, optimize the transmission cost and uh, less power uh, generation cost now shift it to the demerits or the limitations of the otc plant so at a large greater distance the transmission of cost of electricity is increased so definitely in case of it is a definitely in a, we will discuss about this is a, in all the cases of the power generation if the site is very far away from the requirement or if the plantation plant establishment so what will happen their transmission cost is increases so again the case of otc if we develop the plant uh, utilize the energy generated from the plant is far away from the generation point of view so definitely their transmission cost is high otc plant has several limitations and techno economical constraints their commercial prospects are quite uncertain plant is subjected to ocean streams and high waves it is subjected to a very high stresses salts get deposited in pipes and equipment therefore maintenance is difficult definitely ki aapka pipe laga hua hai jo aapko pump karke water circulate kar raha hai to sea water hai to definitely salt bahut high quantity mein hoga agar salt available hai to what will happen salts get deposited in the pipes and equipment therefore their maintenance is very difficult and maintenance cost is increasing as compared to other conventional or the renewable energy sources plant size is also limited to about 100 megawatt due to large size of components otc technology is in a infant state <coughs> it is costly and it is difficult corrosion of metal part due to saline saline water okay so salt is generated and the corrosion definitely it will be happen and the corrosion of the metal part generation so algae grow in the pipes and obstacles water flow constantly so there these are various limitations of the demerit so that's why they are a very limited use of right up now but there is a wide sources of the energy which can be utilized in our future for the energy generation next that is a geothermal what will happen in a ocean thermal we have discussed about ki ha top surface temperature and the bottom or the depth in a depth water temperature using the temperature gradient and this water circulated through generation moment of the turbines 
to throw the to develop the mechanical power and then this mechanical power converted to the electrical through the alternator <coughs> but in the case of geothermal what will happen it is again derived from the high temperature geothermal fluids so that is the geothermal fluids which are below in the site okay, like here we can see here <laughs> surface so there is a below of the surface some depth of the earth you can find out the sources where the heat is available so this water can be pumped comes through the water through the water pumps and this water hot water again goes through the turbines for the steam generation and this the steam generation through the turbines we can alternate through the mechanical energy production and this generator through the electrical <coughs> and after the generation of the electricity the water is cold and again this cold water going to the cooling tower and then through the injection well pumped the this water is again circulated or pumped to the underground level so this is a closed cycle we can using the hot water in below the earth surface this water comes and utilize for the electricity production so this can be utilized for power generation and thermal applications like greenhouse cultivation hot water irrigation and the in a cold countries cooking process heat electrical power generation generally geothermal energy is available inside the earth at the depth of the more than about 80 km but uh, where various sites is available where you, you can find out the sources below the just uh, 100 or uh, 300 meters below there are two types of geothermal deposition first is hydro geothermal energy deposit that is called a hot water type and second is a petro geothermal energy deposit that is called a hot rock dry rock type so there is a availability ki where this uh, geothermal sources is available so this uh, geothermal energy is another energy source that can be harnessed for the power generation and thermal application in the near future so in a few locations called a geothermal field in the world and the geothermal energy available at depth of the 300 meters to the 3 kilometers fields are mainly the countries like usa philippines ussr mexico new zealand japan italy indonesia hungary and the three major geothermal power plants established in a tuscany italy with 450 megawatt new zealand and the third is california approximate 600 more installed capacity and india in india we have approximate 150 nose geothermal sites having geothermal fluids moderate with a low temperature so like in india we can say hydrothermals kullu manikaran ladakh himalaya region mp gujarat and damodar valley there is a very hot springs are available for the geothermal sources for the energy generation so they are merits it offers an inexhaustible and the versatile source of energy it is naturally available and uh, hence less expensive nickel uh, pollutions renewable hai to definitely less expensive hoga nickel pollutions aapka kam hoga versatile source of energy hai continuously guarantee of power generation is more than wind and solar energy kyunki aap wind ke sath kya hai ki particular limitations hai ki site ke available continuously wind us uh, स्पीड के अवेलेबल है कि नहीं है सोलर के साथ कंस्टेंट हो जाते हैं <coughs> कि डे नाइट रिस्पेक्ट से या क्लाउडी रीजन है नाइट है 24/7 नॉट अवेलेबल बट इन द केस ऑफ जियोथर्मल दे कैन बी अवेलेबल एट 24/7 सो दिस गारंटी ऑफ द पावर सप्लाई कैन बी अचीव टू द जियोथर्मल मेनी अदर पर्पस सच एज हीटिंग एंड द कूलिंग एज़ वेल इन अ शॉर्ट व्हाइल डीमेरिट्स surface subsidence sometimes is result to do withdraw the large amount of steam of water geothermal air pollution result in case of release of gases like 
hydrogen sulfides nh3 carbon dioxide present in the steam and the hot water coming out of these geothermal sources noise pollution results from the drilling operation for the in the geothermal field the overall efficiency of the power generator is quite low as 15% only as compared to the 30 to 50% of the fossil fuel so this is a very uh, most uh, disadvantage or you can say the not uh, highly productive uh, energy generation plant so that is all about the renewable energy sources